Hey friends and welcome back to She's Your Apron and today is Motivational Monday. So I'm finishing out my zone cleaning series and we are in zone one this week. If you'd like to see the rest of the zones for the rest of the month, click on the links below so you can see all that. Okay, so I like to do zone cleaning. This method I got from theflylady.net, links below. And each week in your home, there's a new zone. And it basically helps you declutter and deep clean. So you're basically like spring cleaning all year round. It's pretty awesome. And it helps you declutter your home. So if you have so, a little bit of projects that you need to do in each of that area of your home, you can get them done and focus on it. So I like it because it helps me stay in track because I am such a like squirrel, squirrel. It helps me stay on track with what I need to be doing. Okay, so this week is zone one, which is the porch, the entryway, and the dining room. Okay, so you could do zone cleaning 15 minutes a day for the week. Or like me, I pick a few things, like four things in each of that area to do for 15 minutes each, equaling up to one hour. With me and my busy schedule, that's what I do. But if you like to divvy it up between 15 minutes a day, decluttering or deep cleaning, go for it. If you like to see all the detail cleaning and decluttering that you could do in this zone, head down to the link below so you can hop on Fly Lady and see all that. So let's hop into this, okay? Let's just jump right in. Come clean with me. I'm going to get my apron on. You want to join me today? Apron's on. Let's go. Hey okay, guys, let's start on the porch. The entryway in the porch is the first impression of our home. So we, we don't want them cluttered and let's keep them picked up. So what I've done here was I wiped down the windows. A lot of kids look inside our house and we gotta wipe down the windows. Give the windows a good clean if you have any front windows. And then here I'm just decluttering the porch. Just finding things that don't belong there and giving them a home. We have these lawn chairs and this wire that must have been left over from a Christmas light. So I'm get, getting everything that doesn't belong on the porch off the porch. Also on the porch, you can throw away any dead plants or maybe fill the planters and make them look better. You can also clip any of your front hedges, make those look good. I take the welcome mat and give it a good beating. Right here I'm just doing a light beating, but later in the video you'll see me like really banging it on the house, getting it cleaned up. Now I'm just taking my broom and I am looking for all the ucky like spider homes. Like I'm looking for cobwebs and things. And then in the summer I am looking for wasps nests. And I'll spray those and then knock them down. And I'm giving the porch a good sweep. You can also clean off any of the furniture that you might have on your front porch. But right now I'm just sweeping up all the dirt and debris and leaves that have um, come up on our porch with the wind and I like to give this a good sweep and then I'll get the stairs. I don't mind cleaning the porch. It goes by super fast and it just feels so good when you're done. Okay, give those welcome mats a good beating. Get any of the dirt out that you can and just get it all cleaned up. And there we go. Cleaned my front porch, all done. Now we're gonna move into the entryway of the home. Again, the number one first impression of the home. So here you see this end table that I have, and I have um, quite cluttered. I have these shoes. I swear all the kids' shoes have migrated to these bins. Those bins are just supposed to be there for when we walk into the house, we have a place to put our shoes, but it ended up being the shoe collection. So we have to go through those. Kids need to bring their shoes downstairs. And then I have these two drawers in the table that um, really don't have a purpose. So therefore, things get shoved in there. There is like a, an array of things that don't need to be in there. So I need to go through those drawers, declutter them, throw things away, or go put things in their home. And also the coat rack. Uh, if it's too full, have people go put their coats back into their room. I don't have a coat closet. This is where you could um, declutter your coat closet. So here are all the shoes to put away room for shoes to go back in when they come home. I decluttered the drawers. There was nothing of importance in those drawers. Oops, look, I left over screw. I forgot a screw. But this sign right here is the only thing I'd like to keep in the drawers. It tells the kids when, the neighbor kids, when the kids can play and when they can't play. I do have a link about this down below. It really alleviates the tension when little kids come knocking at the door when your kids are busy doing their chores or they're grounded and they can't play. 
and then I just keep an umbrella in this drawer so for the detailed cleaning and the entryway again you can clean off the cobwebs you could dust the window sills um, clean the inside windows clean the switch plates and handprints dust any furniture that you have there the baseboards like I said straighten up the coat closet sweep and, and vacuum I like to deep clean the blinds but my kids do these things when they're when they have this zone this is one of the zones in my house for my kids they have their own cleaning zone list and they're charge of a zone each week and so my kids do a lot of the deep cleaning in my zone so it cuts the work it's really great okay now we're in the dining room I don't wrap my dining room into my kitchen cleaning zone I have it be its own little zone just like fly lady does if you don't have anything to declutter in your dining room then you can concentrate on your detailed deep cleaning and again that's cleaning off the cobwebs cleaning your chandelier or light fixture polish it up I like to give my table a deep clean wipe off any uckies that are on the chairs the bottom of the chairs the bottom of my table around the edge of the table where fingerprints go and a lot of gook for them kids can get on so I like to give my kitchen table a deep clean you can also polish your dining room table you could dust the baseboards clean the windows I like to clean the doors that are in my dining room like the doors that lead out to the back deck and my garage door I like to wipe those down get any of the uckies off any uh, fingerprints and dirt and debris any of that and this is what I do in my dining room well friends thank you so much for joining me today hope that was motivating uh, let me know in the comments below what you're cleaning this week or today what are you doing to keep yourself motivated to do it I like music I love putting a movie on in the background or listening to an audiobook love doing that and if you're new here click my face up above so you could subscribe and check out these two videos I have over here for you especially that motivational Monday playlist lots of motivation for you all right, I hope you guys are doing good, and we will see you soon. Um, see you later. Doodles.